Right, good morning everyone, me Sam's for Trains and More here back with another vlog and today I'm going to be filming another vlog out on the trains and it's getting colder now, winter is almost here, it is quite cold today and um, it's that bloody announcer, I ain't got, I ain't got even going to attempt to start a second clip but yeah, I'm actually going to be visiting three stations on the Barragan branch of the West Coast Main Line today I've been doing a bit of, quite a lot of West Coast Main Line recently and that's mainly because it's quite quick stations to do especially when it's getting dark out you know but we're going to be visiting these stations Berks well next station Hampton in Arden next station Marston Green and a look at the views so yeah we're doing back to our Hampton in Arden and Marston Green I did Bangor International a few weeks ago I did Coventry back in April and there's a reason why I'm not doing Adderley Park because you don't get any freight and there's also a reason why I'm not going Canning and Kyle Hill basically because I want to avoid that area of Coventry at all costs my mum used to live around the area years and years ago and actually her um, ex-husband which was my dad sadly passed away and he actually got attacked around those areas so yes I'm avoiding those areas thank you very much but anyway we should enjoy Bags while Hampton Arden and Marston Green if that plane would shut up Right, I'm on train, one of many today. 352 free sips. Not sure what's on the back unit, but all day basically today. I'm just going to jump on the front units because they, they're quieter. Even if it's a crappy old 352 like I'm on now. And also, just because um, as well, I'm not really going that long distance today because I'm getting off at the stations. I am along the route, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to show you a bit of the journey to back as well. I made it to Burke's way. It was a 353 <laughs> Yeah, I should have gone all the way down the rear end of the train, but the only problem is it's quite busy down the end. Um, anyway, oh, a van. Right, the other clip can be an outtake. Because I already checked and I should have been filmed the event too fast before I started filming the intro. But anyway, I'm at Berks right now. Two platforms, the West Midlands Railway Station. And then on the uh, rear of my train was 353.74. A nice part of the end. For the, the, the nice nice part of the train. Only problem is though, um, it's just the rear end of the trains get quite busy. Because everyone stands around the same area. Anyway, um, I'm going to be filming here. I'm filming here for exactly one hour before I get the next Northampton to Birmingham train. The reason I'm doing the Northampton to Birmingham shuttles is basically because they're quieter compared to the London Birmingham trains. I'm just hoping one doesn't get cancelled because if one gets cancelled, I'm going to have to skip out a station. And the station I skip out if one gets cancelled is probably Hampton and Arden. But hopefully that doesn't happen. But obviously, if I'm already at Hampton and Arden and one gets cancelled, I'm still going to go do Marston Green because we'll still have time. It's just if Hampton, if it gets cancelled here, I'll skip out Hampton and Arden. Anyway, I'm talking too much. I'm going to do the film and hit back as well. Right, just beyond that footbridge is actually an old abandoned track. And that actually used to run to Kenilworth like 50 years ago. Now it's just a, basically an abandoned bit of siding, basically. And that's why this station actually appears on open time trains and real time trains all the time because it's at a junction. Canley, Tail Hill at, and, and um, Hampton Arden and Marston Green and Lee Hall and Adderley Park, they all don't appear on real time trains until like that, the actual day, all the passenger services. So you have to refer to other timetables. Also, 
I've realised that this station is West Midlands Railway managed. However, it's only really London North Western Railway that are actually calling here at the moment. The West Midlands helps if I zoom out the bloody camera. <laughs> the West Midlands Railway services that used to run, they used to turn it out Coventry. However, that's not been the case during the current pandemic. And that's not going to be the case when the timetable changes in December either. We're probably looking at next May now for the return of local more trains on this branch. But you still do get the odd one early in the morning and late at night. Right, right I've done the hour of filming here now. I'm just waiting for my next train to take me to Hampton Island. It takes a couple of minutes to go there, although it's running seven minutes late. Six, seven minutes late. It was following a late running, tra uh, late running freight train between in the long Buckby hour because there was a freight train going into the Daventry Loop thing in the bottom line. So that held it up. But, um, yeah, I should, if before this train comes, if anything else passes through, I'll film it for some extras but I've, do, I've filmed pretty much all the trains in the hour and I'm going to do the same at Hampton and Island and Marston Green which gets a few more trains because you get the TFWs and the additional West Midlands Railway services. Next stop is my train taking me to Hampton in Arden. Looks like it's a nice unit I'm only on it for four minutes. <laughs> what have we got? 350 we seven one. First train out is my train. A little bit busier than the one I got on this morning. There's still plenty of seats. So it was there two three fifty set, three fifty six. 350, 360, and 350, 371. Right, so about Hampton and Arden. I've got 20 minutes into the next train, so I'll do a piece of the uh, vlog. So, uh, um, it's two platforms, West Midlands Railway one, however, again, it's only we really going to North Western Railway here, except from we really in the morning and we really at night when there's some to Coventry. But anyway, I've actually been out at the station once about, four, it's knocking on the door about five years ago now, I was actually um, eating at a pub down the road from here with family about five years ago, it was my aunties and uncles there, when I was having family ob ob obligations back then. So... This station, it is a little bit annoying because where I usually stand at the end of the platform is where the stairs are and they've got a little ticket office where it looks like a garden shed. So I've come down a little bit further down the platform. I can hear a motorbike. I've come a bit further down the platform where there's, I think it's a road bridge is. I'm going to do the filming here. So if any passengers call to the platform, I can be out of the way. Uh, yeah. And also, this station actually has the stand clear announcements, unlike Blooming, um, uh, uh, Berkswell. And this station as well, uh, um, I don't really know if anything else has helped us. Oh, this station seems quieter compared to Berkswell. But anyway, 20 minute wait until the next train, so I'm just going to hang around and do nothing. So whilst I've been filming today, I just want to see where that Avantius, um, the Pendo that's about to fly through, so I'm just going to film this couple of So whilst I've been filming these stations, I've noticed the Northampton to Babagood train seems to be running quite late, up to 10 minutes late, and I'm not sure what's going on. I, looking at the diagrams, it's late running freight train, but I'm not sure, but the next one to Hampton and Arden, I mean, Marston Green, which is going to be the last station of them, that is also running 10 minutes late. Not sure what's going on there. my train been a little bit late this is going to take me to my next destination and final destination 
for, for the film today. There goes my train that brought me in from Hampton Yards and they're getting busy as they get towards Birmingham to be honest with you. That one was busier than the last one. I expect the next one I get to Birmingham will be very busy. There's 351.26 on the front and 354.04 on the rear. We're seeing all of the 350s today now. Right, look at the view behind me by the way. That's actually a really, really nice. Uh, Marston Green, it is two platforms, a West Bidons railway run station, yes it actually does get a few West Bidons services now because the, the, the shuttles to, from International to New Street and a Rouge Trent Valley service also here and TFW don't stop but they pass through and also we've got London North Western trains. Uh, it's actually the first time I've, I've ever got out of the station, I need to be quick because the trains are actually quite frequent here now but yeah. Never got out of this station before. But I've passed, I've stopped here but never got out. But also the Birmingham to Northampton trains don't actually stop here. Which is odd. But anyway, let's do the film in here at Marston Green for one hour. Then we're going to double back at Birmingham New Street and make our way home. This station is actually quite popular with enthusiasts as well. Because you can get some decent shots of the airplanes as well. Because they're right on the outskirts of the airport the trains are so frequent here i need to stop for i'm gonna i'm gonna catch it new street right here's something to note at master and green before i catch my train to Birmingham to double back to go home but you actually have a car stop sorry for car stop three and four, obviously, for the 350. So if you come down here towards the end of the platform where the car stop eight is, I'm not going to walk all the way down there because I can't be bothered. You've got a car stop six slash eight, and the and the two and the three and six car stops are actually used to be for the old 323s because. A couple of years ago, they actually did use to run a 323 on the Bangor International to Bangor New Street shuttle, but then they changed it to a 350. And now the 323, 323s, their life is coming to an end, and they're now purely only for a couple more months, probably about another year actually, on the Cross City line. Okay, you can have a plane taken off from Bangor Airport. The runway is literally just down there. If I turn around, there goes the plane. They've got to get in the sky quite quick, don't they? <laughs> As that 350 leaves, my train's coming. 350, 243. Final train of the day to go to Birmingham and have to double back and go. Right, so I double back to Birmingham New Street and now I'm on the final train of the home. I'm now on the final train home. And, um, first opportunity I've been uh, able to film this clip because it was a bloody noisy um, like group of people just sat in front of me but they've gone off at Coventry um, but I hope you enjoyed the vlog of me taking off these stations in between Rugby uh, um, and Birmingham I did back for Hampton Arts and Ambassador Green it was a nice session I don't know what was up with the, a couple of delays going into Birmingham though uh, but it kind of died down a bit when I went into Babylon on the last train, which is all good. And then uh, quick dash to New Street and got, went and used the facilities there. And then jumped on this train home. So I'm going to wrap it up here now. Make sure you guys can give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. Comment down below as well. I appreciate all your comments. And make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new and haven't already seen my face on the camera before. Make sure you have the bell for all notifications so you never miss another video. Or live stream. Right, take care everybody. Bye all. Peace out.